Today I'm going to be working on a 100 by 70 centimeter canvas with brushes and palette knives. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sean and I have a passion for painting. For my medium, I'm using one part linseed oil to four parts odorless mineral spirits. Painting thin doesn't mean diluting the paints with copious amounts of medium. It's more like scrubbing the paints into the canvas with a durable brush. I need to abide by the fat over lean rule and by thinning the paint slightly with this medium mix on this first layer, I'll ensure that I don't run into any problems down the road. Regarding photo reference, I don't really have one. I spent last year painting a lot of small studies of the sea and sky. So in this piece, I'm sort of winging it. Now, if you're a beginner, I don't recommend jumping straight into a painting without doing any type of sketches, studies, or not having a reference photo especially when painting on a canvas this big, so don't do that. I'm going to finish this painting in two layers. This first layer I call the sensible layer. I take my time and use large brushes to really bring the punchy colours of that blue sky to complement the assortment of beautiful colours within the clouds. I love cobalt blue, so I mix that with a tiny bit of cadmium yellow and adjust the tone accordingly by adding titanium white to lighten it or burnt sienna to darken it. My aim is to create a vibrant but subtle and relaxing seascape with various complementary colours. I need this first layer to show something that looks quite representative, so it's crucial that I get this part correct so I can really splash out on the next layer. The sea especially evokes so much excitement and energy within me. It can also calm me and not to mention scare me. So this first painting session was all about creating smooth transitions and getting a real feel for the transitions of colour that reflect directly from the sun. I've created various subtle colours of purple and even hints of turquoise green in the wet sand and I may even leave this part of the painting finished. Now it's time for the second session. I'll be using a bit of linseed oil without any odorless mineral spirits, thus making this layer of paint fatter than the previous layer. I don't use much at all, only enough to help the paint flow a little better. I'm also making sure the paint is thicker so this layer will dry slower than the previous layer and won't cause any cracking of the paints in the future. I use a smaller brush and start identifying some darker areas. I don't want too much contrast in this piece. It's almost like I want to show simple lights and color harmony and that there shouldn't be any darkness in this world or my perfect painting. It should be about balance within color saturation, contrast and composition. Now here comes the fun made possible with my palette knife. I want to destroy parts of that first attempt of the painting in the most beautiful way, but still have that first layer showing through slightly. It's important for me to create a painting, not a picture. I want to distort and play with certain areas, enhancing some and hiding others. What I really want to achieve in this piece is variation in colors warm tones next to cool tones and complementary colours next to each other with a variety of soft and hard edges. I think these elements make for a really great painting. There's something so invigorating about making a painting more beautiful by destroying most of it. At this point I've switched my music off and I'm in the zone of just creating without thinking. I want to say as much as possible while doing as little as possible. Finding that balance between realism and abstraction is crucial for me. I want to create a painting that relaxes me when I look at it and for me there's no better painting to do that than sky and sea. A simple mix of cadmium yellow and titanium white gives me a small subtle sun and I use the same mix to highlight some of the sky in an abstract way. My knife is flowing naturally without much thought but I'm being strategic with the application of paints and where I need to add it. I'm sculpting the paints onto the canvas where I believe it needs to go. I then add a warm mix of burnt sienna and cadmium red to break up the shoreline and go in with an assortment of colours in the sky. When you're working on a canvas this size, it's so important to use lots of paints, especially in this second layer. It could be quite scary using up so much, but with this style of painting, you've just got to, especially when you're using a palette knife. I'm aiming to create another large piece in the upcoming weeks. After that, I'm going to be focusing on slightly smaller works, perhaps with some different subjects. Here, I'm creating a world, a mad mix of abstraction and realism, and I have no worries or concerns about anything at this point. I think to express yourself as an artist, you just got to let go and let your heart decide what's going to happen. 
White is interesting because nothing's ever really white. White can be cool or warm. I try to add both cool and warm in certain areas in a very impasto way. It really is all about pressure with the palette knife. So I push down harder if I want a nice transition or blend of colors. Or I can load the paint and slightly scrape the knife over wet or dry paints, which allows the paint to lay down almost like a smooth blanket. It was so important for me to create a balanced seascape that focuses on an assortment of complementary colours. That's what really makes a painting look so pleasant, having your blues mixed with oranges, purples with yellows and so on. I'm happy with how this turned out. If I can change something, I probably would have gone a bit looser with the technique, perhaps more impressionistic in the clouds, and perhaps push them further away into the distance. I would have also emphasized my focal point a little bit more, but hey, we live and learn. I usually hate this part, but this time I kind of enjoyed it. I made sure to use enough linseed oil to help the paint move, and now I guess it's time for the reveal. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell to be notified for when I upload my next video, and I'll see you soon.